This is how you save and create a project in FR Configurator. You start by opening a project, new, Okay, you'll get to this screen. If you're connected by USB, that's a USB mini, standard USB on that end. So we're set up for USB. You can also do it by ethernet. Um, to read in rather than selecting from the pull downs, if you go down to auto recognize and click this, it says it will start and clear all your settings. And yes, so we're gonna do that. And in a second, it'll start scanning. Okay, so there you go. It's auto-recognizing. It sees the drive that's uh, on the wall in my shop right now. And you can quit rather than scanning all the stations. And, uh, oops, where was it gone? Station number. Uh, how do I get to that other station? There we go, and we're back. Okay, so we're gonna save this. Okay, all right, so if we wanna look at, uh, well, first of all, we should get the drive online. So we'll go up here, click online. Drive's now online, let's look at parameters. Parameter list. There you go, there's your parameters. Now, if we wanna read up that list, we go up here to batch write. Nope, not batch write. I'm an idiot. Batch read. There we go. And it says, uh, do you want to read the parameters? I certainly do. Yes. So it's reading up the parameters. Okay, there you go. So the parameters are read up on my 800. I know it's called an A800E, but that's uh, not the correct model number. But um, it's actually uh, an A800-0025E1 uh, and 6. Let's see if it looks right. Oh, right there. Okay, that's where the E comes from in there. So anyways, now to save this. Project, we can save. We're gonna call it, um, I'm gonna call it uh, test bench. Test bench. And we're gonna save. It's gonna ask you probably if I wanna overwrite it. Exist. You want to replace it? Yes. Okay, so we've saved the project. Now, if we want to export the uh, parameters in an Excel file, we'll go up here to File, Save As, down here, change the file type to Excel, and we click that, and uh, Again, we'll send it, call it uh, TB or <laughs> test bench, and we'll save. Okay, so we've saved the parameters now as an Excel file, in addition to having the project saved as an FR config file. So that's how you uh, open up, start, and save a FR configurator.